Israel sends aid to the local community in Miami, where part of an apartment block collapsed in the predominantly Jewish neighborhood of Surfside. Shalom everyone and welcome to Israel Weekly, coming to you from our Jerusalem studio to share important Israel-related events you may have missed during the week. In today's episode, we are following the horrific tragedy that took place in Miami last week and the Israeli delegation that was sent to help the victims and their families. At least 12 people were killed, dozens were injured, and 149 others are still missing, after part of an apartment block collapsed in the predominantly Jewish neighborhood of Surfside. Dozens of those missing are members of Surfside's active Jewish community. The number of victims is sadly expected to rise. Surfside officials released documents including an engineer's report from 2018 that found major structural damage beneath the pool deck and concrete deterioration in the underground parking garage of the 12-story condominium. Another nearby building has been evacuated, fearing that it also may be unsafe. Following the Miami disaster, the State of Israel, the Israel Defense Forces, and Israeli Emergency Medical Services, Magen David Adom and United Atzala, have all sent rescue personnel to assist local teams on the ground. The teams include experts in search and rescue, engineering, social care, psychotrauma, and crisis response unit. On Sunday, a team of IDF search and rescue specialists said, we are here to bring hope. After the earthquake in Haiti, we rescued someone after 108 hours, so there is still a chance. Teams in protective gear, backed by two huge cranes and aided by sniffer dogs, have been working non-stop in torrid heat in high humidity since the Thursday morning collapse. Israel's United Hatzalah alone helped treat over 60 patients for a multitude of medical issues, including treating people suffering from the emotional trauma of the tragedy. United Hatzalah doctors also distributed medication as many residents of the building had lost all of their possessions, including their medication in the building collapse. They provided support to Miami Dade Fire Rescue to recover victims of the disaster, as well as aiding grief-stricken families. A United Atzala paramedic, Baruch Sandows, was one of the first on scene, telling the Jerusalem Post, Once I arrived on scene, we were able to assess and realize that this is much bigger than the ordinary calls we were accustomed to seeing here. We immediately set up a triad site, working together with Miami Dade Fire Rescue as they were pulling out the initial victims from the collapse. After the first 10 or 15 people come out of the building, most of them walking, they went through our triad site, we assessed, checked, and evaluated them. Throughout history, Israel and the United States have remained steadfast friends. Israel's Foreign Affairs Minister Yair Lapid reiterated this important message following the Miami disaster, saying, the state of Israel has no greater friend than the United States of America, and America has no greater friend than Israel. At difficult times such as these, we stand with our American friends and with the Jewish community in Florida. The rapid and effective mobilization of Israel's defense establishment and the foreign affairs ministry is an important statement about Israel's relationship and friendship with the United States. We hope more survivors will be found soon and this horrific event will never repeat itself. Israel stands with the people of Miami and the United States during this difficult time. And that concludes today's episode. If you want to know more about Israel, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We leave you with a powerful moment that came out of this tragedy. A rescue team from Israel and Mexico taking a short break on Friday night to make Kiddush blessing for Shabbat. May we know calmer days. Shalom from Israel. Amen. Amen.